Hi, my name is Glenn Beaver of Beaver Labs. I'd like to introduce you to the Component Manager. What this is, is an SQL database with the web browser front end, and it allows you to manage the process of defining components in a design, uh, attaching uh, actual parts to it, uh, entering printed circuit board design information, and creating orders. Let me populate this, because it's easier to talk to with data on the screen. The design which I'm calling RC32 version 1 with a reference designator of C1 and a little screen full of information. So, for example, you can give the one set of information starting here in the blue fields of the, of the design and the reference designator. It'll tell you if you've entered the information, the package uh, that the printed circuit board design tool uses, uh, the schematic symbol, uh, and choices of packages that the tool allows you to have. Uh, it tells you what manufacturer's part numbers give you this part number, this part's being a, a 1.0 microfarad tantalum capacitor with this package. That's what links the design table to the manufacturer's part table. And then it tells you a manufacturer's part number that satisfies that. Or there might be more than one, so it can tell you another another one. The current one here is a Vichet Sprague part. If I put in this other one, that's an AVX part. But they both satisfy the part and packaging criteria. And then uh, whichever one you enter there drops down into the ordering table and says, okay, for that manual part flash your part number, uh, we ordered it from Mauser with this uh, batch number identifier and this uh, vendor's part number. In fact, I've ordered it also from DigiKey. So I can select that and say for the same part number, uh, um, if it had a vendor part number there, which this entry field isn't populated, but that's where it would be. And uh, in either case, let me go back to the Mauser. It tells you the quantity ordered, the unit cost, the total cost, uh, a URL link to the vendor catalog page. Uh, if I wanted to see what the vendor part of uh, the uh, vendor's catalog looked like, where you could actually place the order. And also the data sheet, if you've entered that in the manufacturer's part area, you can go find out more particular information about that. So it's a way of capturing all kinds of information about a design. Generally flows from the design itself through this uh, circuit card, uh, kind of on the side here, and then down through the manufacturer's part number or numbers and the vendor vendor or vendors that you have order or creating an order for. There are other pages uh, that you get to by these buttons up here. Uh, for example, if I go to the order form, it takes this bottom table, puts it up here, and tells you everything else that was ordered uh, from in that order batch in that vendor. And it can do things like sort these on manufacturer's part number, vendor's part number, and, and whatnot. Go back to the main form for the parts. You can see a list of all the parts that satisfy this part and package criteria. Uh, sometimes you get more than you bargain for there, depending on how some of the fields are set up there. And throughout here, just as an aside, you see a field that gives you an SQL uh, query, and it's a way of getting an idea of what the database is actually querying on. Um, might help you in some kind of troubleshooting operation if, if that needs, uh, if you need that. So that's a, a quick introduction. In the next session, I will go into more detail about the fields themselves, what the color codes are, uh, how to navigate throughout the, the database. 
Uh, and then from there we'll go into more particulars of the fields and how to enter information and update them and, and so forth. Okay, thanks a lot.